Tributes paid to the late Elvin Nimrod. This is Special Report, the weekend edition. We'll have more on that and others right after this. Looking for a weekend getaway? Then make the Sister Isles of Kariakou and Pity Martinique your home away from home. And at Alexis Food Stores, we'll welcome you with open arms. As the only major supermarket situated just two minutes away from the Teal Bay Harbor in Harveyvale, we offer you a one-of-a-kind experience by providing a wide range of produce, food items, wines, and liquor. Visit us today in Harveyvale or call us at 443-7994, WhatsApp 419-6831, or check out our Facebook page for some of our great deals and new products. Email us at info at alexisfoodstores.com Alexis Food Stores, we make your shopping experience memorable. Life has changed rapidly, but this doesn't mean your vacation plans have to be put on pause. Let Serenity Vacations make it happen for you without any hassle. Whether you're in Grenada, Cariacou or Petite Martinique, we've got you covered. Our packages include round-trip air or sea travel between the islands, ground transportation, accommodation with breakfast, and fun-filled, relaxing activities such as island tours, sunset dinners, boat trips, snorkeling, and much more. Our full-service deals allow you to book with us and not worry about a thing. Call or WhatsApp us on 449-2046 or email us at serenityvacationscru at gmail.com. Also, check us out on Facebook. All COVID-19 protocols are in effect. Thank you for joining us. I am Kendall Gay. The island was plunged into mourning upon hearing of the passing of former Minister for Kariku and P.T. Martin Affairs, Elvin Nimrod. Mr. Nimrod passed away in the United States on February 6th. Upon hearing of the passing of Mr. Nimrod, many took to social media to extend their condolences and reflect on the contributions Mr. Nimrod made to the islands. Mr. Nimrod entered the political arena in 1997 when he became a member of the Senate. Two years later, he was elected parliamentary representative for Kariku and Piti Martinique, a designation he held until the 2018 general elections. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell recalls the late Elvin Nimrod as someone who selflessly served his country and the people. He said Nimrod gave much of his life to the development of Grenada, Kariku, and Piti Martinique. He was generous in his service to both the government and the new national party. He placed special emphasis on representing his constituency, serving his constituents with passion and dedication. Minister for Kariaku and P.T. Martinique Affairs and Local Government on Abikinja Maturin Stewart, in her tribute to Mr. Nimrod noted, he was a man of and for the people. He loved the people of Kariaku and P.T. Martinique dearly and dedicated more than 19 unbroken years of selfless service to them. She said Mr. Nimrod was responsible for transforming the lives of the people of Kariku and Piti Martinique, especially the youth. He provided them with many opportunities for personal growth and development and started an education revolution on the islands. He was responsible for the rapid growth and development that Kariku and Piti Martinique have experienced over the past 20 years. He also ensured that Kariku and Piti Martinique received their fair share of the national pie. The late Elvin Nimrod served in many capacities, including Deputy Prime Minister and Attorney General. His ministerial portfolios included legal affairs, local government, Kariku and Piti Martinic affairs, foreign affairs and international trade. Black flags were placed at government buildings and the national flag is being flown at half-mast in honor of Mr. Nimrod. An official funeral will be granted to Mr. Nimrod at a date to be later announced. One man who makes his living as a porter is calling on people to be fair to him when he works for them. Joel Smart, who many knows as Boofy, has for the past two years been carrying loads with his wheelbarrow PF473 for customers. But he says he's not been fairly compensated when he does the job. Wheelbarrow like this. I have the wheelbarrow. Try to make do something for some people. 
I work for the people on the wharf, carry load. The people don't want to pay me my money. I tell people I tell them $10, they say $10 too much. They say $10 too much. But $10 can't be too much because I have to drug load and other things. Bring them for people. And when I bring it on the wharf, the people don't want to pay me my money. I, I feel the people, some people do like the way they like to take advantage on a poor person. I have to pay the bus. How do you pay the bus to come back? I expect me to work for ten dollars. Ten dollars not really money for me to get neither. If me work out be supposed to it could be twenty dollars because I have to pay the bus, I have to eat something and I all the things. When I work for people and them not to pay me, they're not, not nice. Because that's why I, my living is to work for myself, work for people, bring things and they must I expect to get some money. But you see that I expect to get some money. The people are not, 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 not nice. Some people, you know. He says it is something he loves doing as he likes to be independent, but he just wants to be treated fairly. Yeah, I like to do that because that's how I feel. Because I don't feel nobody who say, well, go ask people for money because people go insult me. And I don't want to say, well, asking people for nothing. I like to have my own look work. We're taking a quick break. We'll be back after this. Building a home is everyone's dream, but furnishings can be a hassle. Why not visit Paddy's Enterprise and Hardware Limited on the Sister Isle of Karakou? They offer a wide range of face basins, porcelain and ceramic tiles. And to make your home complete, you can check out their refrigerators, stoves, shower enclosures and panels, vanities, washing machines, fans and freezers. For your outdoor chores, they have floor pots, ladders and black water tanks. All this and more is available at Paddy's Enterprise and Hardware, located in Hillsborough. You can contact them today on 443-8211 or 8210 for more information. Karyaku Pool and Pet Supplies, located opposite the bus terminal in Hillsborough, provides you with all your pool and pets needs. We offer the following products dogs and puppy food, animal accessories such as toys, clippers, collars, cat litter, the warmer, animal vitamins, insecticide, plant food and all your pooling equipment from start to finish. We also offer the following services, cleaning and treating of pools weekly or fortnightly, pump repairs, pool estimations and repairs. We open from Monday to Friday 9am to 5pm and on Saturdays 10am to 2pm. We can be contacted at 443-6575 or visit our Facebook page, Karaku Pool and Pet Supplies. You're looking at this view taken from the streets of Hillsborough. Welcome back to the weekend edition. February 11th to 16th, was slated to be the staging of the 2021 Karakou Carnival Festival. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the festival was cancelled. With the cancellation of this year's Carnival Festival, residents were urged to desist from engaging in any carnival-like activities. Honorable Kindred Maturin Stewart calls for compliance with the COVID-19 protocols and regulations, noting the health, well-being and safety of all must come first. She said, though we are down to zero active cases, we have to be mindful of what's happening to our next door neighbors, and so we have to remain ever vigilant. The principal, staff, and students of the Mount Pleasant Government School received a number of books donated by past students of the institution Dana and Melissa Samuel. Principal of the school, Corbin Noel, expressed thanks to the sisters for their donation to the school. The, the supplies was donated by Dana. Dana Samuel and Melissa Samuel, where she married now, from in, the, in she in the U.S. She's past pupils of Mount Pleasant School, so they would have went away, better their lives, and decide to come and give back to the Mount Pleasant School. And we are very thankful for that. We are very thankful, and we encourage others to please continue to contribute because the school would have made them, and now they can give back to us, and we are very thankful. Teachers on the island took to the streets of Hillsborough with placards in a silent protest against government's refusal to follow through on the 4% promise to them. Here's a look at some of their messages.
And finally, on the weekend edition, February 10th, 2021, marked 24 years since Junior Apostle joined the Royal Grenada Police Force. He spent 18 years in the SSU. He's now attached to the Pity Martinique Police Station. While stationed in Pity Martinique, he was involved in a number of projects, such as a luncheon for the elderly. He also teamed up with NADMAD to do some cleaning up of surroundings of elderly citizens' home before a storm or hurricane. He was also involved in erecting and painting of speed humps on the island, among others. We say hats off to you, Officer Postel, on your 24 years of service to the nation. And that's all for now in this special report, the weekend edition. I am Kendra Gay. On behalf of KOMG Productions, thank you for joining us. Thank you.